Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. This time it's going to be a six star to rank four. I'm trying to get my six stars up there to rank four so that I have even more options for rank fives. And later in the future, you know, I'll probably end up with a, a rank two seven star, especially since I think that Kabam is going to be coming out with the next progression title. And it's probably going to involve seven stars, maybe at rank two, maybe more. I don't know. All right. But anyway, in this video, we've got four candidates for rank four. The first candidate, Big Daddy Apaco. He's been at rank three for the longest time. And I think everybody knows how good he is. He is great for so many different situations. He can go immune to bleed and incinerate and I believe disorient. He's really good. Good damage and he can make horsemen. Now he doesn't need to be high level for the horseman making, but he can put out some good damage. And I think a lot of people they they Think of him as, you know, the horseman maker, but he got damage. He's really good against Korg. His uh, debuffs can't be shrugged off, so he can parry Korg, you know. He's good. He's really good. All right, next candidate, Nimgod, uh, Nimrod. Now, Nimrod also has been at rank three for the longest time, and he's good. I don't tend to use him a lot, though, but he's good. And against mutants, he just smashes most mutants. I have to say most because there's a couple of mutants he's he's not the best option for. Uh, however, even against non-mutants, he's pretty good. You want his sig level up because that special two of his can really put some work in. A lot of fights are over after the special two. And if you can get your SIG level to 200, it makes that even more likely. Okay. Next one is going to be Rintra. Now, I don't know actually if the change to the root mechanic is going to affect him at all. But if you've ever fought against Rintra, you know how annoying he is. OK, he is really annoying to fight, but he also has this neutralize. Have you fought against Hercules with Rintra? Hulkling with Rintra? He's actually pretty nasty against anybody that gains a lot of buffs because he can shut them down. He is really, really good, both on offense and defense. I have to learn him a little bit better. Um, that root mechanic, I've seen it, you know, special root active, and I start getting hit right up close, and I'm just building, building up, and I launch that special two and just take them out. So uh, Rintra, especially in BGs, when people know what they're doing with him, I see the fights are over fast, okay? So Rintra, definitely. A candidate. And the last one, Spider Man 2099. Four times I pulled Spider Man 2099 from the featured. And he has remained at rank three all this time. He doesn't gain buffs. So he's great for any opponent that relies on their buffs or they rely on not their buffs, but your buffs. Like, for example, Mojo. He relies on your buffs to degen. So you will not degen with Mojo. Now you have Ebony Maw. You will degen if you get hit with his heavy and he complete that mission. But the nullification of your buff mission, he won't do. So if you play carefully, you're not going to degen against Ebony Maw either. So he's really good in Alliance War. There's a node 
where um oh, I forgot the name of the node now. Uh but uh, buff A. That's it. Uh where they'll nullify your buff. Well, he doesn't gain buffs, so not going to nullify anything. Uh against Doom, he's uh good because you can bait out special ones and you don't have to worry about that aura and anything with the shock and getting back slapped and all of that. It's just a good time all around. Okay, so out of these four candidates, who would you choose to take to rank four? Which means they have the potential to go to rank five. Okay, I'll let you think about it. For five, four, three, two, one. Nim God. Okay. So I have been thinking about taking Nimrod up for a long time. And I use him out of all of these uh, candidates that you saw, Rintra and Nimrod, I probably use the most. I don't think I even have Apocalypse in my deck, but he's also really good. All right. And Spider-Man 2099, I don't really use him uh, in Alliance War or Battlegrounds because I have other champions that can also do what he does and don't gain buffs, like Titania. Okay? So Nimrod, as I mentioned earlier, is good whether he is on defense or offense. So in Battlegrounds, that's usually what you want. You want champions that are dual purpose. You know, when you put that champ down, they don't know if you're going to put them on defense or offense because they're good at both, you know? So, for example, I put down Nimrod. They have a domino. They stuck now because I could use Nimrod on defense or I can save them for that domino. Now, if I get somebody else like Warlock... Now they still don't know because Warlock is also good on defense, very annoying, and on offense. So I like to rank up champions that have multiple purposes. And Nimrod in Alliance War kept getting banned because the meta at the time, uh, the global node, he removes a lot of prowesses. And so he was like an MVP. And so they kept banning him. Um, but I wanted to take him up because even if they ban him repeatedly in uh, Alliance War, that's fine. I'm still going to use him in Battlegrounds. They might uh, ban him in Battlegrounds. Good, because that means that they can't ban somebody else. The more champs I have that people want to ban, the less they can ban. Okay. Um, but Nimgod, I, when I saw what Nimrod could do against mutants. Crazy. I looked and I saw them just melt with a special uh, two. They just melted. Now, I did use uh, Nimrod in Alliance War. And uh, what was I? I'm trying to remember who I used him against. It was it was a few seasons back, I think. Um, the other thing that I like is that he's immune to bleed and poison. And uh, he's not immune to armor break, but it doesn't do anything for him. So he's great against uh, Magneto. But because I run the recoil masteries, you know, double edge, liquid courage. Um, I have a preference for champions that have immunities to one or both of those. And he has an immunity to both. So that means that even though he's not yet SIG 200, he's still going to do a lot of damage because I'm running the recoils. Okay. And he's not going to take a lot of damage because he's immune to the bleed and the poison. So he is definitely, definitely one of my candidates uh, for rank five 
even. So you will start seeing him uh, in the videos when I start taking more champs to rank five because he is a candidate to uh, take up to rank five. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed yourself on this video, watching this video, watching me rank up this champion, click like. If you didn't like it, click dislike and let me know in a comment what didn't you like about it? What can I do different? How can I improve it? Let me know. Um, leave a comment letting me know some things that you might like about Nimrod. And of course, who did you think I was going to take up? And who would you take up? Take care. And you all have a blessed day.